Aqualung is a song by the British progressive rock band Jethro Tull, and the title track from their Aqualung album. The song was written by the band's frontman, Ian Anderson, and his then-wife Jenny Franks. While this track was never a single, its eponymous album Aqualung was Jethro Tull's first American Top Ten album, reaching number 7 in June 1971. Topic lyrics The lyrics convey a story of a homeless man named Aqualung. In stanzas 1 and 2, he is shown as a dirty tramp, who can't but evoke a sense of hopelessness and disgust, as not a single person in the world would ever help him. Aqualung is alone and sick, doomed to bend to pick a dog end British slang for a discarded cigarette butt. In stanza 3, he sees a light of hope for compassion, arising in encounter of the very storyteller Aqualung my friend, don't you start away uneasy. But still, in stanza 4, Aqualung is snatch rattling last breaths. The indifference to grief is nevertheless reigning on earth, and the flowers bloom like madness in the spring. The lyrics compare the tramp's unhealthy breathing to deep sea diver sounds, referring to the actual aqualung device. Topic: <inaudible> Recording. The original recording runs for 634. In an interview with singer Ian Anderson in the September 1999 Guitar World, he said Aqualung wasn't a concept album, although a lot of people thought so. The idea came about from a photograph my wife at the time took of a tramp in London. I had feelings of guilt about the homeless, as well as fear and insecurity with people like that who seem a little scary. And I suppose all of that was combined with a slightly romanticized picture of the person who is homeless but yet a free spirit, who either won't or can't join in society's prescribed formats. So from that photograph and those sentiments, I began writing the words to Aqualung. I can remember sitting in a hotel room in LA, working out the chord structure for the verses. It's quite a tortured tangle of chords, but it was meant to really drag you here and there and then set you down into the more gentle acoustic section of the song. The Aqualung character is also mentioned in Cross-Eyed Mary, the next song on the album. An alternative mix of Aqualung with a very different echo effect on Anderson's vocal, appears on the compilation MU The Best of Jethro Tull 1976. This version also has different acoustic guitar and vocal parts during the first part of the song, Sun Streaking Cold, but then reverts to the regular mix at Aqualung My Friend. This is most likely due to the fact that all the tracks from Aqualung on MU The Best of Jethro Tull were taken from the original quad mix of the LP. The track was not released as a single. As Ian Anderson explained during an interview with Songfacts, Because it was too long, it was too episodic, it starts off with a loud guitar riff and then goes into rather more laid-back acoustic stuff. Led Zeppelin at the time, you know, they didn't release any singles. It was album tracks. And radio sharply divided between AM radio, which played the three-minute pop hits, and FM radio, where they played what they called deep cuts. You would go into an album and play the obscure, the longer, the more convoluted songs in that period of more developmental rock music. But that day is not really with us anymore, whether it be classic rock stations that do play some of that music, but they are thin on the ground, and they too know that they've got to keep it short and sharp and cheerful, and provide the blue blanket of familiar sounding music and get onto the next set of commercial breaks, because that's what pays the radio station costs of being on the air. So pragmatic rules apply. Topic. Recorded appearances Aqualung 1971. MU. The Best of Jethro Tull 1976. 
Bursting Out 1978 Slipstream 1981 A Classic Case 1985 Original Masters 1985 20 Years of Jethro Tull 1988 20 Years of Jethro Tull Highlights 1988 The Very Best of Jethro Tull 2001 Living with the Past 2002 A New Day Yesterday 2003 Ian Anderson plays the orchestral Jethro Tull 2005 Aqualung Live 2005 Topic Personnel Jethro Tullian Anderson Vocals Acoustic Guitar Producer Martin Barr, electric guitar John Evan, piano, organ Jeffrey Hammond, bass guitar Clive Bunker, drums, percussion Additional personal Terry Ellis, producer In popular culture The song is referenced in the 2004 film Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Burgundy Will Ferrell plays a jazz flute solo incorporating the beginning of the song. The opening lyric and riff of Aqualung are muttered by Tony Soprano as he comes into the kitchen in episode number 71, Live Free or Die, of the TV series The Sopranos. The rendered character of Icarus in God of War II was inspired by Aqualung found on the cover of the album. <laughs>